Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, it's been around two months since we did the first Conductive Ink versus Thermal Paste video. So if you're interested in that, the video number is 989 if you did want to go check it out. So since it's been around that long, I definitely thought it was worth doing an update. So before we get into anything, I want to check the ambient temperature of the room. And it is... Oh around 14.6 degrees Celsius. So I've got three tests in mind that I want to do to make sure that we're gonna stress this CPU, uh, CPU out in multiple ways. So the first one's going to be a Prime 95 torture test, which absolutely pins the CPU. The second one's gonna be a 3D mark test. And I know this does test the capabilities of the GPU, but it also does the CPU as well. And that is what we want. And finally, what we're gonna be doing is rendering a 10 minute video. See how quickly it does and what temperatures the CPU actually gets to. Right, so now let's go do a stress test. So now that our Prime 95 torture test has been completed, we see a peak temperature of 82 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad because when you compare this with the last video, which was 1006, we see a peak temperature of about 86 degrees, 84 degrees Celsius, and we had an average temperature of around 74 degrees Celsius as well. So in the peak temperatures, we've actually got a four degrees improvement. Which is pretty cool, so now it's time to try the 3D mark. Right, so now the 3D mark has finished completed. We actually got quite a nice result. And again, if we compare this to uh, video 1006, we actually got a slight improvement. So in the last video, we got 64.58 degrees Celsius as the peak temperature. And in this test today, we got a peak temperature of 60.99 degrees Celsius, which I'll pop an image on the screen now. How cool is that? And it's a little bit weird that it's improving over time, but we could talk about that towards the end of the video. Right, so now it's time to do our little video rendering process and see what type of CPU temperatures we're getting at what load. And there you have it, the open shot process has finished rendering. And it didn't take too long, it took around 20-ish minutes, but we did not see a temperature rise over 58 degrees Celsius, which means it can handle some load, and this conductive ink is seriously taking in a nice amount of heat, which is awesome. So, there's something really, really interesting happening with this conductive ink as thermal paste. It seems to be getting slightly better over time, but I can't be 100% sure on that. But it is definitely weird that we're getting better results. Right, so this is going to be the final test I'm going to do for at least four months from now. And that's just because I want it to run for its six months period before I decide to change it for something new. But I definitely thought that this was worth doing an update because it has been a sufficient amount of time. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.